Hey everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be going over this Govi app tutorial. So this video is going to be particularly useful for individuals who just recently got some Govi products. How does their app actually work? Now this video is going to be short, sweet and simple guys. There's not going to be a lot of information involved but with the home page of the app we're going to go through it icon by icon and the first icon that I mostly use is this icon that looks like a house okay. So this is where all your devices are stored that you've already connected to Govi. And you can organize it by all devices, bedroom devices, living room devices. Usually I just set it by all, but if you have a lot of Govi products, maybe you wanna filter it by which part of the house the Govi product is in. And then in order to do that, you basically just click the three dots in the upper right hand corner, click on room management, and then you'll be able to add different rooms. So let's say that one of the lights are within the bedroom. You can click on bedroom and then go ahead and add one of your devices that you've already added into here. Now, speaking of adding devices, in order to actually do that, you just click on the plus sign on the upper right hand corner. And then Govi actually does a really good job at scanning for new devices. So once you scan for new devices, it basically appears on the upper hand side and you simply just click on add. I must admit that Govi has made it really easy to add devices and I've really had no problems adding any of my seven devices that you see right over here. But just make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on and that the Govi product that you're trying to add is also turned on. Now with all these devices, you can see that there's some quick actions between turning them each on and off. So I can turn off my living room light on and I can also turn it off. And you can see how it kind of shimmers on and shimmers off depending if the light is on or off. If you click into a device, right, you can actually see the settings. So this is just a control switch. So there's a timer, there's an auto on and an auto off. And let's, if we go into something a bit more complicated, let's say the floor lamp basic two. If you go into this right here, you can turn it, you can power it on by clicking on the power button. And then you'll see all the different settings that are available to this specific Gobi product. So you can change its scenes, you can change its lighting, you can change its colors, you can change it to match music, you can change its bright, brightness. So I mostly work on this page anytime I'm accessing my Govi app when it comes to turning on or off products. So I'd say the first step is to add all your products. And then the second step is to kind of familiarize yourself with what all the settings are within each of these Govi products that you have. So some Govi products have very little settings like this one here, there's only three settings, but more robust products like their floor lamp or their TV backlight tends to have a lot of different settings that you can customize. And that's just one of the really cool things about Go. Now, the other tab that I tend to use quite a bit is the second tab here where it says shortcuts panel. So this is like a new feature. If you haven't updated your Gobi app yet, it might look different. But this shortcuts panel is basically like controlling multiple Gobi devices with a single button. So here I have DreamView, which is going to match all my Gobi products to match my TV. And it's four devices connected to it. On the upper right hand corner, if you click on those four shapes, you'll see that you have dream view. You also have tap to run. So it's basically like a shortcut of clicking one button instead of having to click all your devices right over here. Okay. So you have a tap to run, you have a group button. So again, functions a very similar way in which with a group button, you can click on one button and perhaps all of your gold floor lamps will turn on. Or if you click on one button, all of your TV backlights will turn on. You also have automations here. So I use, I just have, keep it simple. I just have one automation that automatically turns on all my Govi lights during a certain, like when sunset hits, all my lights turn on. And then around like 3 a.m. every day, the lights turn off. So I like the auto run. It makes it so I don't really have to handle anything. Now, aside from that, you have a discover page here in the middle. I, I really don't use this all too often. This is like to me, like Govi social media hub where people can post different things. Next to that, we have like the shopping icon where you can see what other Govi products are being released. Maybe you want to order something. And you also have some user rewards for actually ordering Go Govi products as well. So you can see here that if you order Govi products, you'll earn like G coins and those G coins can be used to purchase more Govi products. So it's like a nice reward system that they've got going on. And then on the right hand side, this is probably like the third most used function that I use. This is just settings. So here you can see your messages, firmware updates, which I use quite often, Apple Watch integration, device sharing, widgets, voice assistant and local services. So I'd say mostly what I use is the first two tabs on the left hand side. So I use devices a lot. I, I set up shortcuts, but then I only set up once and I, once it's set up, it, I really don't have a lot of complicated shortcuts when it comes to Govi. I really don't use the middle two icons as much. This is like for social media and buying. 
I don't use it all too much, but then the settings tab, sometimes I'll go into here just to update my firmware and such. But that is essentially this Govi app tutorial. If you guys know of a better or easier way or perhaps something that I'm missing, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you guys all in the next video.